Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Uh, Sig Designs here and today we're doing kind of a quick tips tutorial I guess you'd call it. I'm basically going to tell you guys how you can add dynamic camera movement into your animations. There's a couple of different ways you can do this and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show those guys, show these to you guys and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to drop in a cube. Uh, just pretend that this is the main focus object that's going to be in your animation um, and basically we're just going to drop in a camera now by clicking the camera icon and what you're going to want to do is, is uh, click on this little um, icon here make sure it turns white that's how you know you're actually seeing through the camera that you placed in the uh, placed in your scene and uh, the first way we're going to talk about uh, animating cameras is using the keyframe option down here below the timeline if I uh, check the keyframe on right here uh, make a keyframe and we'll skip ahead to about frame let's say 140 and let's go ahead and animate this camera a little bit and uh, you know, we'll do something pretty simple okay get it right there we'll just keyframe that if we go ahead and start this over from the beginning we'll have a simple little uh, camera movement as you can see there so uh, pretty simple um, not not a whole lot to it a uh, little simple um, pan around. Uh, if you wanted to make this go faster, all you have to do is drag this second keyframe and shrink it up on the timeline, make it shorter. And now it's basically saying, you know, you need to get from point A to point B a lot faster in 60 frames. And once again, you could do it, uh, you know, shorter or longer if you wanted to. Uh, so that was uh, basically one little simple camera move. Now we could do two of these right here. We could uh, we could change the camera position. Let's go this way. Do something kind of crazy here. Let's keyframe that and see what we get. All right, so something a little bit different. Uh, once again, you can adjust how long it takes to get from point A to point B by adjusting the uh, ex exact time that the keyframe is sitting on. Um, another way is we could click off our camera right here, get out of it, make sure it uh, goes dark, the little icon. And you'll notice here uh, with the camera selected you have this little track and this blue line that's the track of the camera that's what we keyframe that's a movement of it and at any time you can just click on these points click and drag and you can actually adjust the position of them so if you need to make changes or adjustments or you don't like something want it to move a little bit different you can do that you can also bring it down and obviously the more points you have the more precise uh, this would be as far as your movements but um, in your exact track of the camera but this is basically how it's done so you know if we uh, play it now click on our camera you know we have a whole different uh, camera animation basically so you can play around with that and do whatever you need to alright now the second option I'm going to be showing is uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this camera we'll drop in a new one let's right click on that camera go to cinema 4d tags and click on vibrate Okay, so with the vibrate tag uh, on your camera, you're going to notice these three options come up. And if we able, enable position and change the frequency to, say, 0.2, and uh, we adjust the amplitude here, uh, pretty small values, not real big, and we go ahead and play this, um, make sure our camera is checked on first. If we go ahead and play this, you're going to notice the camera has some movement, slight movement to uh, you know on its own that you don't actually have to manually go in and keyframe and whatnot. Now, if we were to make these values a lot higher, uh, you're going to get faster, uh, faster motion, and a little bit uh, bigger motion, as you can see there. Now, if we do bring the reason why you want to keep the frequency down low to like say 0.2 uh, is because this is a vibrate tag. So if you bring the frequency up, the camera is just going to vibrate really fast, basically. Um, now that may work for something you may be doing, some animation that may be the effect you want to, you know, do or the feeling you want to create but uh, you just kind of have to play around with it and see what works best for you so if I bring this up to like two and play this we're gonna get more of a you know er more erratic vibrating kind of motion to the camera so that's why I keep this pretty low and if you even brought this up to say 20 and I've never done this before you can see that's that's pretty crazy and something like this might work in a you know to some degree in an earthquake you know whatever you may be doing you know that may work but I typically keep this down to around 0.2 because that's about good 
And we also have options to enable rotation. So if I brought this up to like 678, drop the frequency down to say 0.3 or so, go ahead and play this and see what happens. All right, so that's pretty crazy. Um, if you don't want that big of a kind of a swivel, I guess you'd call it, just bring the amplitude down here and the rotation won't be near as drastic as you can see there. It just kind of sways back and forth like it's in the wind, I guess. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, mess around with these values all day. You guys can, uh, you know, play around with it, see what you can come up with. Um, you're going to get a different uh, camera movement every time you change these values or the frequency and whatnot. You can even change the seed, so just type in a random number. And this movement with these integers will change with each seed. So, like, you can see when I'm playing it, we're getting that movement. And if I start it over with those same values, it's still it's going to do the same movement because that's what corresponds with these values. But if we change the seed to something random, then we're going to get a different camera animation with these values. So you can play around with that as well. Um, that's basically it for the this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, please leave a like down below. And so um, also leave a comment down below. Uh, you know, I'm always open to any tutorials you guys may suggest. I don't have every program, so, it's, so you know, any After Effects tutorials, I don't have After Effects, so I won't be doing any of those most likely. I may in the future, but um, anything concerning Cinema 4D or anything like that, feel free to leave those down in the comments below, and uh, I will try to make those happen. Um, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.